Ready to take your workflow automation tasks to the next level? My name is Brad Dara, and in this step-by-step -step video tutorial, I will guide you through the seamless installation process of Microsoft Power Automate. This powerful automation tool will allow you to work smarter, but not harder to automate your everyday mundane and time-consuming tasks. So let's begin. So before we can use Power Automate Desktop, we have to download it first. So let's do that right now. What we want to do is we want to go to Microsoft to download it. And if you open up Google, and if you use the terms Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Download. And you should see this link here, learn.microsoft.com. Um, click on where it says install Power Automate. And on this web page, you'll see that there is a install Power Automate using the MSI installer. That's the one we want. Click on that, it takes us down the page here. And you can see where it says it's got a hyperlink for download the Power Automate the Power Automate installer and click on that. Now, just open the file. So you should see this. Um, just gives you a little bit of brief information about learning more about Power Automate. Uh, we can just uh, click the next button to go on to the next step. Here, um, leave all the defaults, but you do have to select the checkbox at the very end here where it says by selecting install, you agree to the terms of service. Click on that and click on the install. And it should go through the installation process. I'm going to just speed this up here. Okay, once the installation is successful, you should see a page that's similar to this. Now, <clears throat> before we go in and launch the app, uh, there is one more uh, thing we need to do. Now, there is an extension. There is a, a browser extension for Microsoft Edge, for Chrome, for Firefox that needs to be installed into each one of those browsers in order for Power Automate to talk to it. What's happening here is that the installers notice that I have Microsoft Edge obviously because this is a Windows machine, and it's offering to um, allow me to click a link that allows me to um, install the extension into Microsoft Edge. So I'm gonna do that, go ahead and do that, click on the link. It'll automatically open to this page here, and this is for Microsoft Power Automate. All we have to do at this step here is just click on the Get button. What you should see is a, uh, um, a dialog box just asking if you want to add the extension. You say add extension. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now the extension is installed. We can close the browser and click on the launch app. So the very first time that you launch the app after installing Microsoft Power Automate, it's going to bring you to this page. Um, before you can continue on to the next step, you need to create a Microsoft account. So I'm just going to pause right here and we'll go on to the next section where I can explain if you don't already have a Microsoft account, how you can create a Microsoft account. And then we'll come back to this and then uh, resume where we, are, where we left off here. Okay, so let's set up an account. First thing you need to do is go to account.microsoft.com and select the link, create a Microsoft account. You'll get this page here where you can either enter in your own email address or you can create a new one by clicking on the get a new email address. Either way, click next, enter a password for this account, click on next. What will happen is that you'll get a four digit code that's going to be sent to that email address. Go to your email, open it up, find the four digit code.
And you're going to enter that code here. After you enter the code, click Next. Enter in a CAPTCHA, that's just to prove that you're not a robot. And you're done. And that's all there is to it. All right. Now that you've created a Microsoft account, if you need to, now we can type in the email address for your micro, for my Microsoft account. Sign in button. Let's add the password. And sign in. And this will be the first page you see once you start up uh, Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Sort of like the, uh, the home page here. And um, in the next video, I'll go over the, um, the next part of creating a flow. But just a little, I just want to talk briefly about this, this home page here, <clears throat> where um, it automatically takes you to this, this, this section here. But it also has some uh, very good videos that you can take a look at and it's actually got some very good examples of uh, other flows that have been pre-created so that gives you a little bit of an understanding of how to um, interact with excel or doing some web op uh, web automation or some desktop automation you can get to the, the examples as well as by clicking on this link here and um, we can go this will i'll cover this in in uh, future videos but for now that's all there is to it to install Microsoft Power Automate desktop onto your machine.